Hey, what's up everyone? It's Mr. Guinea here and check out this beautiful Lamborghini Aventador that I'm going to get to drive. Wonderful car. Let's do it. So we'll start by doing a walk around and right away you notice how beautiful this car is, especially with the doors up. Um, I think the matte black finish with the red outline is a gorgeous spec and really makes this car stand out even more. Um, and also the low profile wheels give it a nice aesthetic boost. So as we make our way to the interior, you'll notice the beautiful center console that gives the car the impression of being like a stealth fighter. Then you'll notice the beautiful Alcantara seats with the Lamborghini badge on the headrests and of course that beautiful red stitching. Uh, I think one of the things that really makes this car feel even more exotic, at least for me, is aside from the fact you're sitting very low in the car and of course the uh, Lambo doors, um, you have the feeling of being sunk into the car when you're sitting down and that's particularly because of that center console that sticks out so much and it becomes even more pronounced when you're sitting in the car and it's kind of a unique feeling uh, compared to the Huracan or even the Ferraris or McLarens that I've driven. Um, so as we make our way around the car you'll notice the beautiful aggressive lines and then you'll see the really beautiful cascading glass over that engine bay. Um, I think, you know, um, the Murcielago, for example, was a very refined car compared to the Diablo, but this car, I think, is uh, more aggressive. Um, in any case, let's uh, go and take it for a drive. All right, let's start this baby up. Hit the start stop button. Listen to that sound. Oh, that, that is so badass. Amazing sound. Alright, drop it in the first. Here we go. Yeah, so even even when I'm not going fast in this car, this car sounds amazing. Yeah, I just love the low frequency hum of the engine of the V12. It, it just sounds it just sounds angry. I mean if you know the history of Lamborghini, you know that basically Ferruccio Lamborghini, the founder of the company started, you know, star, started off making tractors and you know, he made a suggestion to Ferrari about one of the clutches and the guy basically told him, hey, go back to making tractors. So I guess maybe that's the reason why the car sounds so angry. But no, this car sounds amazing. Um, one of the drawbacks, unfortunately, is the single clutch. Um, basically, the Huracan, for example, has a dual clutch and it's a little bit easier to handle, particularly um, in town. So in this car, I was basically told you have to drop it in a neutral every single time that you're in idle. You don't want to ride. You don't want to ride the clutch being idle. So you basically can't be in first gear when you're idle. I, I don't know if that's changed with the 2018 model, but the 2016 that I was driving, that car you had to put it into a neutral. So it's basically just like driving a manual. It's like a, so basically it's an automated manual. It's not an actual automatic. It's actually an automated manual. So, but I mean, aside from that, aside from that, this car is still phenomenal to drive. This is going to be a little tricky because there are a lot of cars behind me and there are cars in front of me. So it's going to be a little tricky doing this. I'm going to drop it in the Corsa. See if we can get, get a good acceleration here. Unfortunately, the, um, what do you call the, um, thrust mode was disabled in this car. But we can still get a good launch from, um, we can still get a decent rolling launch on here. So here we go. I'm going to drop it into the second drop it in the first gear and here we go oh my god whoa oh my lord wow Woo, acceleration boy let's get another one here so i'll drop it in the first gear and here we go Woo. oh my god wow oh the acceleration is brutal oh my and those shifts are so aggressive. Oh, that was, that was insane. Oh, I gotta do one more, here we go. I'll do it from second gear, here we go. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Wow. Oh, what a fun car this is, man. Wow. All right, time for a POV.
just awesome acceleration and also gotta love those exhaust pops as well. Okay, we're about to hit some traffic. Oops, dropped it in neutral. Yeah, basically all this is all the beach traffic going back home from um from the weekend basically. So alright. This is the tricky thing trying to maneuver in traffic again because the visibility isn't the best, but again if you're you know if you're generally aware and you just use good fundamentals, um, you know, you can still maneuver through traffic without you know with minimal risk. These people with like wow, uh, Lamborghini Aventador. So I'm going to make a U-turn now and I'm going to try to get a good run. Nice little launch on the, um, going the opposite direction. So here we go. So this car just got a new clutch in it. It was in the shop for a while. But, um, you know, again, these cars are very finicky, especially the Aventador. But I have to say that this car has really um, driven pretty well for the time I've driven it. And I really haven't had really many problems with it. I mean, there are a couple lights that went off, you know, the flat tire light went off and actually I was kind of close to the curb anyway I'm enough of that I want to go and try to do a launch now let me see if I can get a good launch here um, gotta be careful because I'm merging with traffic I'm gonna drop in the first gear let's see perfect all right ready and here we go driver um, it's a little hard to do that when you're driving in a Venador I mean you want to drive fast you want to open it up um, again when you're driving these cars you just have to use good judgment you know um, again visibility is a tough thing like just back there you know I'm trying to I'm trying to launch it but I'm trying to do it in a way where I'm merging with traffic but again you know you have to be aware of your surroundings and you have to know when, when cars are coming basically uh, so again you just you just got to use good judgment and I mean, I've been fortunate enough that I haven't gotten any accidents, knock on wood for that. Um, I've been able to enjoy these cars, drive them fast, but still drive them safely. So, I mean, that, that's, you know, definitely a good thing, so. Okay, just kind of waiting to get up on the highway here. All right, here we go. Let's see if I can get a good launch going up here. So, going around this curve here, I'm in first, and let's do a quick launch here. Ready, let's go. God, those shifts are amazing. Oh my God, man, those shifts are so aggressive. You know, that's that's what I really love about the Aventador over the Huracan, is that the shifts are aggressive. And, and for some people, they actually prefer more like the smoother shifts of the of the dual clutch. But I actually love the aggressive shifts of the Aventador. It just, it's just exciting. It's just one of the other features of the car. Almost like the McLaren, like one other, I guess, um, idiosyncrasy of the McLaren is that it has a lot of that turbo lag. I noticed a lot more than driving the Ferrari. Um, oh, come on, let me in. Thank you, all right. But anyway, what was I talking about? Um, yeah, so the McLaren has a lot of turbo lag, but one of the, I guess, you know, one of the pluses of that is adds to the charm of the car. For example, right when you hit, right when you hit those RPMs, the car just goes, and you notice the difference between like, you know, when the car didn't hit the turbo, and then the car hits the turbo, and it just goes. So it's just, I saw people like that. I'm one of the people actually really, really likes that about the McLaren. And just going back to the Aventador, what I like about the Aventador so much is that, yeah, those shifts are just so aggressive. And it just, it just adds to the thrill. Again, this this car, is, I think, is more about being extreme. The way the car looks, it's extreme. Um, the way it feels, the way it feels just sitting in the car is extreme. Uh, the engine sound is extreme. And then the, aggr then the aggressive shifts are extreme, too. And I think that's, that's what really makes the car so appealing. So we're gonna try this uh, launch here again. Again, um, a uh, rolling launch because of, you know, the thrust mode got disabled. So I have to be careful here. This part is kind of a little risky here. So I gotta be a little careful. But um, all right, let's see if I can get a good launch here. Is anyone coming here? I'm dropping the first gear. All right, let this guy go. And here we go. Oh my God, wow. Oh my gosh. Oh, I love this car. I really love this car. One other thing about this car is, like a lot of other exotics, it feels like you're going faster than you really are. Like for example, like in my Explorer, um, in my Explorer, 
you don't ever feel like you're going fast because it's, it's more cushioned, it's higher up, it's more comfortable. So I could be going really fast and not feel it. In this car, you feel like you're going faster. So a lot of times what ends up happening is that I'm actually driving a lot slower than I think I am. And people behind me are all like getting a little angry with me. And another thing is, you know, the visibility isn't the best. It's, you know, obviously, you know, Lamborghini is not going to have the best visibility. So I wouldn't even realize there are, you know, cars behind me. I'm, so it's one of the, you know, things you got to take into account. But I think one good thing about driving the car it does make you more aware. You have to be aware of your speed limit, even when you're, when you're of your speed rather. Also, when you're going slow too, because like I said, you could be going too slow, and then people could be, you know, kind of behind you and all. So anyway. And one other thing, just driving in a, in a little beach town like this, um, you get a lot of attention, a lot of attention, obviously, but more especially because you just don't see these kind of cars. I mean, even. Even Huracans, you'll you'll see them kind of occasionally. They're a little bit more common, and I think it's because um, you know they're a little bit more practical. This car is just not as practical as a Huracan. Uh, again, primarily because of that single clutch. But I guess one of the one of the real benefits of this car is, is that this car screams attention, and you know of course you don't see these cars very often at all. In fact, I don't think I've ever seen an Aventador down in this area as long as I've been here. And again, it's a thrill just you know seeing the looks on people's faces and seeing the kids just their eyes light up with joy it, it's it's awesome it really is awesome all right we're going to get one last pov launch here wow i could never get tired of that all right that about wraps her up i uh, hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, go ahead and hit the like and subscribe buttons, and we'll see you next time.